welcome to another cast done by digging on behalf of StarCast TV. Bottom left hand corner, we have Snow starting as the purple Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Piano starting as the red Terran. This is going to be on Ascension and should be an interesting one. I'm going to say on the surface, I am favoring Snow, being that this is Ascension, a very favorable map for Reaver drops. We'll see if Piano can pull something out interesting. But yeah, Ascension, you just have the massive drop areas to work with and Snow is just known for that reaver abuse. So you just have to drop a bunch of turrets and if they end up not going reaver, sometimes Protoss can sneak and even go for, if they, even if they opt not to go for early reaver play, sometimes you can go for faster arbiter play and go for quick recalls as well. Create a lot of havoc that way. Tough map for Terran, I think, versus Protoss, especially Protoss of Snow's caliber. And Piano, while he's a good player, I really feel like I gotta say, I think Snow's the best Protoss right now. I will say in a lot of these sponsored matches, Snow has been struggling, though, versus his Terran opponents. However, many of those matches I'm trying to think have been on, like, Lemon, for instance, so I'm not sure if I want to count those or not. Gateway opener, so nothing too crazy. I should say we're not going to see a uh, quick Nexus play from him on the three-player map. Supply Depot down in the main rather than the natural expansion. We do have the barracks to the north. No front door seal, and this would be the, this is currently the anti-zealot line as far as the troops able to sneak in between assimilator being grabbed rapidly by snow afterwards. So it doesn't look like he's gonna go for any sneaky zealot thing, and we have a refinery grab as well. So both players going defensively rather, playing standard, rather than going for any quick economic play. Trying to cheat here, go for the one racks into expand, something like that. Piano starting to scout out. I believe that SCV, well, never mind. I was going to say it's heading to the north first, but it looks like it is going to end up with first scout. Snow is going to end up with last scout as he is going, never mind, he is going to the north. So both players are going to come across each other's base in the final scouting location. Initial solid is being constructed. Cybernetics core as well. Let's see if once they spot each other, if they change direction rapidly. So Snow getting the more rapid reaction than Piano right there. So Piano, ooh, is going to end up losing a lot of scouting time as a result of this. So Snow catching that SCV, able to just reposition near instantly. Factory being built. We only have a single SCV in gas, which suggests we are going to potentially just see that single vulture into expand style. Marine walking up to blockade that probe away. Probe cycling around, finding an empty natural expansion. And the Zealot making its way forward as well. Looks like that SCV coming around. And let's see if that SCV is able to glean information or if that Dragoon is going to be able to dispatch it. The Zealot, instead of going for the gap, walking the far end around, might be able to get a Marine. I think this probe is trying to bait that Marine to the high ground. SCV able to sneak its way through. The Dragoon actually making its way towards the front. Snow is going to go ahead and tack on that natural expansion in the face of that SCV. No attempt on an SCV blockade. Probe sneaking down with that Zealot on the high ground. Again, yeah, wants to try to bait those Marines. Looks like those Marines are not, not going to buy it, though. First Vulture, in fact, out. That Dragoon's going to be in time to go ahead and blockade it at the gap. Maybe create some disruption otherwise. Ooh. So Snow actually... This is kind of a hefty little attack force, but Snow going to push into it anyway. With a Marine, a Dragoon, and a Zealot, and able to peel off at least three Marines to start. That Dragoon going to try to walk its way out. It looks like it is going to be wiped out, but able to at least shred three Marines. An additional Marine has been constructed. Command Center being built as a follow-up. Range just about finished. Looks like that SCV... That scouted earlier is just going to sneak. Is he going to drop something? He's moving around a little bit menacingly there for a half second. Spider mines being researched. SCV checking the forward gap, running it. So the Dragoon's spotted, and this is that Vulture Gia needs to back out. Doesn't have mines as of yet. There's no bunker on the front at either. So the Dragoon actually might get a decent trade versus these Marines. And it's going to get worse as range comes online. So, nice little trade there by Piano, but now that's gone. So now it's Vulture versus Dragoon, which is not a great fight unless some mines are planted. So that second Vulture returning, 
it's taking some additional fire. That SCV has not completed that command center yet. Early transfer. Or is this just defensive SCVs coming off the line? No, that was an early transfer, and the command center is not complete. Piano showing a lot. Being a little bit flustered, although he is dropping a sneaky starport there at the 9 o'clock location. I don't think he's going to be able to move. I mean, this is going to have to turn into Wraith, maybe, because I don't know if he's going to be able to sneak the vultures out. Well, okay, he's moving, starting to cycle the vultures out regardless. The Marine wants to draw that Dragoon forward, so going going to forward spot that is going to, yeah, he has to take care of this. Might be a little bit on edge because of the number of the vultures and the lack of siege tanks with that attack. Speed being upgraded. I don't know if Snow sniffed this out or not. He's got two gateways running. Pile on down to the south. So I like how, I do like how Piano's flipping the script, however, and going for a drop. He's like, you know what? This is a good drop map. Yeah. Snow definitely is recognized, though, because you can see the Dragoon spread back in the main. Vultures waiting out towards that six o'clock location. A nice pylon wall towards the front. Dragoon blockading. So not going to be able to get much there. Trying to draw some troops here to the natural. Vulture's going to cycle right back out. But yeah, Dragoon's immediately going back towards that northern wall. I think recognizing the threat. Observer walking in is going to see that second gas up. This, one problem for Piano with this is, yeah, this... I mean, this is a big investment to start. Let's see if he gets something out of it. So the Dragoon's somewhat distracted there at the natural expansion. Two Dragoons moving in. Is he going to be able to get something out of this? Snow reads it. No mines even dropped as yet. It looks like they don't have any mines left, so... Managed to get a probe? I don't think that was worth it. <coughs> so, at the very least, that delayed Snow from grabbing a third base for some time. Looks like the dropship waiting in the corner. But what this does do is with all of that early investment in gas in the starport and vultures out there, that was units that aren't siege tanks. So only one siege tank on the front. I don't know if Snow's going to capitalize that or, or, or not. Plus one weapons now being upgraded. Another vulture... Another two vultures making their way to the north. We do have some okay mine coverage out here. Looks like Snow moving out, grabbing the six o'clock base. Maybe I should recant what I said previously about this being a good map for Protoss, but Snow not in a bad position here. Vultures going through the gap. Actually, I actually don't know what the statistics are, so anyway, able to wander in. That is one thing on this map is it's just so easy for vultures to go everywhere and create havoc. Snow, that was, an, that was just a very lazy vulture attack, but man, able to drop a good five probes with it. And that was without the dropship. Okay, so now Snow has his own Reaver Zeltson shuttle. The, the starport going to go ahead and float its way out. We have that engineering bay floating over the gap to provide some defense there, but two siege tanks at the natural expansion. And it will have to be turret defense, I guess. Otherwise, to be honest, yeah, this is just not a lot to help defend. Supply counts, however, are even, which is scary for Protoss. Usually you want to be about 10 supply ahead. But again, this isn't in siege tanks, which is usually where that bulk of unit composition counts. Dropship waiting over on that corner. Now moving in. There are two Dragoons nearby, but it looks like they're going to be able to get yeah right into the main and get some additional probe kills. So Piano, continuing with, the uh, continuing with the aggression, getting a good amount of economic disruption from this. I'm just going to leave that dropship in no man's land in between. Four siege tanks now at the, so in a fifth at the natural expansion. I might have missed a shuttle suiciding in and dying at some point, is that? No, it looks like it just returned to the main for snow. So. Reaver was constructed, but no harassment out of it overall. Plus one weapons about halfway finished. That's going to come out somewhat later than it previously would have because of all the earlier shenanigans. Uh, we do have the Karen booster. We have six factories coming online. So Piano definitely wants to play this off two base and get aggressive as far as a follow up. Going to move that shuttle or that shuttle, that dropship. Maybe wants to just see saturation. And supply count's actually pretty close. 
overall. Usually Protoss wants to be, like, I don't know, 5, 10 supply ahead. Or 10 to 15, I should say. 10 to 15 supply ahead at this stage. Now finally give me that 10 gap. Let's see if Snow is able... He's, he has the Observer in place. I wonder if he's going to try to abuse that edge. More Vultures looking to maybe get another shot at that natural. And with the Dragoon's moving position, going to cycle back around the Zelts trying to engage. But yeah, just that is one problem for Protoss is just how wide open the sectors are otherwise to try to defend. I think a probe got annihilated. That might have been an attempt at a fourth for Snow. What's his gateway count at? He's still sitting at, looks like he's just getting a fifth and a sixth gateway. So it might be very challenging to keep up with the troop count of Piano. Piano now moving out. Plus one weapons finishing. The Reavers able to get a massive initial shot. So Snow, if he wasn't alerted before, he's alerted now. Things floating out to the north to provide some forward spotting for those rears. What's interesting from... Okay, plus two weapons upgrading, so never mind. Piano might off these... I'm shocked that he's not pushing with this. So he's making motions as though he's going to go up and try to grab this three o'clock location. But that was a massive factory count. Maybe it was just to try to cover the damage. Ooh, more siege tanks getting wiped out, but that double reaver shuttle crushing what's left of that attack. Really? The... This shocks me. Off six factories, is he really going to try to grab that third? Vulture's starting to stream out. We have a pro engaging to maybe go for a fourth. Yeah, an SCV walking out. He's just going to grab it on the low ground. Maybe uh, just to get a good amount of troops <coughs> in response. So it delays the command center a bit, but it does allow some massive production to prevent getting run over. The Dragoon's getting swarmed right there, trying to pick off as many Siege Tanks as they can, but now completely gone. Piano has, again, even supply. Snow trying to grab a fourth base, is just sitting on seven gateways. He has not made any transition to Arbiter. Honestly, I, I don't see any mid-game tech really at all from him. He's just trying to do it Gateway Man style, and he doesn't have the economic lead to really make that work. So trying to grab the fourth base... Building more Reavers, he hasn't really built a lot of shuttles behind this. And if it wasn't a push before, it's now turning into a push from Piano. So both going to expand at that 3 o'clock and move forward. With that plus one weapon advantage and a sizable army, really make it happen. Good amount of siege tanks as well. Resieging. Snow looking for... Ooh. Gonna end up Losing at least a Dragoon to some mines at the lower position. Honestly, I feel like Snow either needed two more bases on top of this, or Arbiter, or a lot of shuttles, or something. Right now, he's got none of that. And Piano is starting to threaten this base in the bottom right. One Siege Tank getting out of position, however. Plus two weapons is going to finish in not too long from now. Another control tower being dropped there at the 3 o'clock. Maybe we'll see some science vessels join this attack force. Snow trying to engage and get some value here and there, but really just bleeding off Dragoons. Hasn't been able to grow a lot of supply. And Piano is happy to keep that third. He could probably grab a fourth if he wanted to. Because Snow is in no position to, pr uh, to press into him. He has no upgrades. No High Templar as far as... He has the Templar Archives, but I don't see any High Templar as part of this army. So he's trying to do it with just pure gateway units on a map that has a lot of positional advantages for Terran. So Piano now... He's got a, at least a healthy worker count sitting on four bases currently. But honestly, I think his big win here is just the fact that Piano isn't pushing into him and taking advantage of a lot of the deficiencies of Snow's army. Massive amount, pretty, yeah, very healthy siege tank count as well. Instead, it looks like Piano wants to play the long game and carve things out. Doesn't need to grab this fourth, but has territory around to establish that fourth. The vulture threat is also still very real. 
So now, as we're approaching towards the late game, plus two weapons is finished. I don't see a second armory, however. So that is going to be at least some advantage. It looks like Piano skipping the second armory, going for a heavier factory count in the mid-game and a faster expansion. The three o'clock... Did that vulture looks man looks like he was able to wipe out a probe that was wandering out to maybe grab that nine o'clock? Supply counts are even. Plus two weapons there for piano. And again, it's just dragoons and zealots. So I really like piano, although piano can't afford to do this, just bleed units stranding them. It looks like losing a siege tank, moving in to provide some support. Yeah, he is. A few Reavers alongside, but I don't know. Maybe he can get something magical done with those Reavers. Piano's at max supply right here, and he can remax fairly quickly and easily. It's not to say that Snow can't. It's just I don't think Snow has his... Oh, look at the Dragoons coming from the north getting obliterated. Dark Templar able to walk in pretty deep. Comsat going to be able to wipe him out before he's able to pick off a Siege Tank. So Piano, yeah, now pressing in, is going ahead and grabbing the fourth base behind this. And I don't think Snow has just... He does not have sufficient troops of any kind to stop this onslaught. I don't see him defending any of his territory here. And Piano can pretty much go wherever he wants. Snow's not going to be able to... Def he can't defend, let alone backstab, let alone get a good trade anywhere. And at... <sighs> Although, as I say that, the Vulture is getting completely wiped out. And Snow all of a sudden macroing and getting a 50 supply lead. So ignore me all the way around. I thought the plus two weapons plus just keeping that army cohesive was going to be plenty. And it didn't. that didn't look like a win to Snow from me. But maybe just re-macroing behind it. Now marching a massive amount of Zealots out. I think that might just be macro win to Snow overall. I shouldn't underestimate Snow. That's what I'm going to fold back to. Main is mined out. He's got a slew of gateways. Now finally getting his first Arbiter. It looks like. I don't know that he has any Arbiter upgrades. Trying to establish that 9 o'clock. Running off three bases otherwise. The main is mined out there for Piano as well. A large Dragoon Zealot army. We have, looks like, a High Templar that has a Storm. Might have a second Storm shortly. Making its way towards that fourth. That's drawing Piano back. Up on the high ground. The Zealot's getting pinned in. Able to slice from a little bit of that line. High Templar is certainly going to get picked off now after this. But Snow able to just walk up. So Piano out of position. And Snow able to just meander up and attack this command center. Now Piano going for a counterattack. I'm going to try to plug the gap from the Zealots. At the three o'clock, another looks like huge army of just pure gateway units making their way. So now the three o'clock is at threat. Four o'clock's been shut down. The siege tanks are unsupported by vultures here. Big Psy Storm. Taking out all of this. So previously where I thought Snow really didn't have a shot and that the upgrade advantage was gonna be too large and that there weren't enough support units Ignore all of that, because now Piano's army is just measly. Snow was able to remax. He's been able to deny that fourth. He's continuing to deny that fourth. And he's expanding top left. Dark Templar in the midst of this. And then Snow now able to remax rapidly. Piano's siege tanks are going to get stranded. And the, re the siege tank count is going to get reset here. And again, now we got Arbiter support. I don't know if there's any uh, stasis or anything out. Now, finally, Piano moving up. It looks like three Siege Shanks have broken off. I don't think he's going to be able to get up and make that work. So I was totally wrong earlier. Dark Templar going to wipe that out. Going to eat my words. Is Snow now in a firm position to just walk away with this? Piano's three clock base is his main mining base. His natural expansion, he's down to one base mining down 50 supply has not continued the upgrades looks like okay he's finally getting plus three weapons never dropped that second armory 
still hasn't reestablished his fourth, hasn't taken down any of Snow's additional bases. And now Snow has uh, an Arbiter supported army, some more Psy Storm, High Templar, etc. Out to help engage. It looks like a Siege Tank army moving up might eat a Psy Storm or two on the way across to that funnel. Snow doing a great job of clearing the mines behind all this. Dragoon's going to eat some... Are the Dragoons? Yeah, going to eat some initial damage to pick off as many Siege Shanks as possible with that storm. Took out a lot of Siege Shanks with that. Follow-up attack, finding a stranded Siege Shanks middle. Zealot just going to go ahead and face clear. Otherwise. And the, now a Reaver and a Shuttle also up near that fourth, continuing to deny mining. As Snow is near remaxing, he's happily mining across, it looks like, four bases. That'll be three bases shortly. But we can go ahead and maybe take everything at this 12 o'clock location. Distance mining for piano. Just try to stay in this. Down 50 supply. Snow starting to push the upgrades himself. Fill in that Arbiter count as well. Some science vessels are out in the field. I don't think that's going to be enough to equalize. And a big recall in the main. Missed the dot as it's making its way across. And this is really stretching piano. So he's going to have to draw all of those forces back. Potentially to help deal with this. And that's going to really potentially expose that fourth. If he pushes too many units away. So now all the siege shanks here. We do have, it looks like a single siege shank. A few siege shanks have been left to try to defend on corner. It looks like Snow is not going to punish that. Piano down to 127 supply. Lost a little bit of infrastructure. Didn't lose too much. Lost Comsat, a couple supply depots, machine shops burning. But this is the big problem I think for him is, is he's got all of these siege tanks now, not in this upper corner, where once again, Snow might be able to just A move straight through the siege tanks. Those are plus three weapons siege tanks, however. And woo, we got a shuttle army going in for a counterattack. I actually feel like if these shuttles were to the north, that would have been GG, but still able to wipe out a lot of siege tanks. The better man's Arbiter recall. Ooh, just going to start working on some supply depots. Get a quick 400 minerals and maybe a supply... Well, not going to get a supply cap at this stage, but... For free 400 minerals right there. Pretty rapidly. And some damage otherwise. We get a Defense Matrix Goliath. Going to be able to wipe out that remnants of that snow and firm control still near 200 supply piano's no longer distance mining top right but that is his so i guess he's mining at the three o'clock so two base versus three base still an advantage for snow snow gonna go ahead and walk out and start claiming everything to the north forgot about this base here at the three o'clock location 60 supply lead again for snow still maintaining Ooh, eating some free shots right there Threatening the gap. Big cohesive army. Does is approaching enough. Looks like another drop of some reavers in the main. Ooh, getting a lot of infrastructure with that. And simultaneously going to march his way uphill. Tank sieging right there. Big EMP on the Arbiter. That's really gonna soften up the Dragoons. Nice looks like there was a counter stasis just before that though and a lot of side storm support as well that's going to be it for piano with that attack wasn't going to be able to defend his third nor his fourth base and snow still mining and with a huge supply lead i gotta say massive swing from snow i want to see if i can find that attack earlier here yes so i thought this was gonna be it because what is this? This is a control group and a half and Reavers versus what seems like a lot of siege tanks. I thought Piano for, from here was easily going to be able to just reinforce and wipe everything out. And instead, another grouping. Yeah, just re and getting two more control groups and Piano retreating. I 
Actually, that's not the attack I'm looking for. Let's continue it for a few seconds. Times four. This shocks me here, though. So we're at plus one weapons, even supply. At 1330 here. Piano drawing back. Has that third. He's got all these factories pumping. And this is off, again, eight gateways behind this. Re-retreats at some point. Did I miss it? Might have missed it. At some point, I thought he... Uh... Yeah, so maxed even armies both directions. It was actually at a larger supply hit than I thought. So here we go. So we got some Dragoons to the south. We got some Dragoons to the north. And just two Reavers to support. So this is... No High Templar backing this up. No Arbiters backing this up. Plus two weapon upgrade advantage as this fight starts. Dragoons scattering in from the north. This is only a control group of Dragoons and two Reavers versus what looks like basically a full, full control group of mech. And everything else. Continue to march in. I guess it was just a late siege and the Dragoon, the Vultures got bled and these Reavers still alive here in the corner on that spread. And Piano, yeah, somehow not getting the better part of that. Maybe that was just a re-macro? This will also give an anti-spoiler towards the end. I'm wondering if this is just re-macro is what's happening here. So let's watch it. So Dragoon's dying. Yeah, siege tanks are just being left, and the vultures are getting spread out, it looks like, is the other part of it. So the vultures are just getting bled off here. But yeah, I think this is just a very quick re-macro there by Snow to maintain supply count. So despite losing all this, now Piano getting this... just getting displaced. Anyway, I wanted to see that fight again. Kudos to Snow. That's what I want to say. Great game overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Give a like and subscribe to StarCast. Thanks for listening.